This week, we are going mobile. Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working With Todoist. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode we are going to look at the mobile device. Now this is something I don't do very often largely because it's a little bit more difficult to actually do the screencast but also because most of the things that we're doing with Todoist like organizing is usually best done using the desktop version. However, this week what I want to do is cover collecting. Now, before I go into Todoist, I just want to explain one of the key areas of getting yourself organized and becoming more productive is making sure that you're collecting everything. And the way to collect everything is to make sure that collecting is as easy and simple as possible because if collecting stuff is difficult you've got too many buttons to press or click then you're going to resist and you're going to not collect everything that you should be collecting. So in this week's episode I want to show you one of the quickest ways and because the mobile device these days is our main our ubiquitous collecting tool as we call it in GTD as it's called in GTD and it's the one thing that we're usually carrying around with us everywhere and we're collecting on it. And as a bonus towards the end, I'm going to show you how I collect and which app I use for collecting. Okay, let's go into Todoist. Oh, before I do that, I would just like to say, if you do get any value from this video, then please hit that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips and tricks on Todoist, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's go into Todoist now and I'll show you how the mobile can be quick at collecting. Okay, so what we have here is a number of ways that we can get stuff into Todoist. Now, the, the first way that I want to show you, and a lot of people have actually forgotten about this one because it's not talked about very often, and that is the 3D touch on an iPhone. The 3D touch essentially means that if you press down on the icon, you pick up this uh, this screen and you can just hit add task and it will take you straight to your inbox where you can add a task so we can just add this is a new task now before we actually enter this what you can do is to do this has made it very very easy for you to add information into this now you can do the traditional way you can go at and it will bring up all your labels you can actually do the uh, hashtag so if I go into the hashtag it'll bring up all your projects and of course if you hit the P button um, and type in P1 you can get your flag so that's one way of doing it now the other way which I found is obviously the much quicker way is just to use the icons on the bottom row of the the task entry point so if I hit the calendar there I can hit today so that's going to give me today if I then hit the the project icon I can hit the project so I'm going to hit inbox for this one I can hit the label so we'll just call it waiting for and I can hit the flag and I can hit p1 and I can add a note now if this project was shared I could hit the share button and it would I could choose who to share it with but obviously my inbox is not shared with anyone and then I can hit this which will add a quick comment so you can add all those things once you're completed with that you just hit the the airplane or paper airplane icon there and off it goes so when we've done that what you can see is this new task is now got the label waiting for and it is set for today and that's really really quick way of adding the task with the information that you want so that's great we can get rid of that one now the thing is you've got this big red button on the bottom right of the screen now if I hit it from this view here which is the if you like it the default dashboard view that's going to add basically into my inbox it's just going to go straight into my inbox from there now the thing to remember is if you're in your today view and I hit the plus what's going to happen now is this will automatically get today's date attached to it so if I go this is a new 
task, hit the return, and close this out. What you'll see is in my inbox here, I have this is a new task, and it's automatically dated for today's date. So that's something just to keep in mind wherever you are in Todoist, the plus button will actually add the automatic thing. So if we go into the tickler file here, for example, and I add in uh, this is a new task. I, you can see that my creativity today is not on fire because it's really boring. If I hit that, this is a new task, close it out. You'll see that this has now been added to the bottom of my tickler file. So this is a really quick way, but you, sometimes what I find is that I want to add a task and I'm in the middle of something and it's really annoying that I actually get it put into the wrong project. So you've got to remember to come back to this main screen here, which is the default view, default opening or home screen, if you like. Now, before I finish this episode, what I would like to do is just show you how I do it, actually, because what I normally do is I use drafts. And if those of you follow this whole channel, you'll have seen I did a speed test last week between drafts and Evernote. Now, the thing is, for me, uh, drafts is my preferred choice to collect this. So this is a task. Um, yeah. uh, I can go, this is another task. And this is one of the reasons why I love this, because uh, this is uh, another task. And this is another, and let's do new. <laughs> Uh, task. Right. So I've got three paragraphs. Now, the thing with this is this is three paragraphs. When I hit my Todoist icon, which is on the above the keyboard here with the tick sign, if I tap that, that's going to send all three of those separate tasks to my inbox. So if I move over now to back to Todoist and go to my inbox, you'll see that these three tasks all came in on separate lines. That's how I like it. Now, if I was having a brainstorming session, that is going to be my preferred way of brainstorming. Just bang, 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 bang in one note in my drafts app. I love drafts for the speed at which it offers me, but that's now giving you a number of options that you can use that's going to help you to use or get the most out of collecting in Todoist. So, that's just something that I wanted to share with you today because I know that the key part of any good productivity system and particularly to-do list manager is how fast you can get stuff into your to-doist or any to-do list manager that you're using. I found in, for me it's drafts but then I've been using drafts for many years now so it's just automatic but these are the other options that you have and if you wanted to add additional information then you can do it direct from your Todoist iPhone or uh, mobile application. Okay, hopefully that's given you some food for thought to have a play around and to uh, to fine tune your system so you can make it faster. You can decide whether you want to use drafts or not. I'll leave a link in the show notes to the actual action script that I used in drafts there so that you can get that and install that on your phone if you are using drafts and just for those of you who are listening who use android i'm really sorry but drafts is not available on android as of yet i'm not sure it will ever come but for those of you using an iphone or an ipad for that matter then drafts works brilliantly on those devices okay thank you very much for watching this episode it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week Thank you very much for watching this video. Now, have I got something special to tell you about. The Time and Life Mastery version three course has launched. Now, this course is transformative. It will transform your life. If you find that your life is drifting from one day to the next and that you feel that you're not actually achieving your goals, then this course is going to show you how to change that. It's going to show you how to identify what is truly important to you. It's going to show you how to find what it is you want out of life and then show you the steps that you need to take in order to get there. This course is amazing. The feedback I've got from versions one and version two have just been tremendous. It has helped so many people and I want this opportunity to tell you that it can do the same for you. 
I hope you will take a look at the course. Have a go, take the course and start transforming your life today. This course will do that for you. Take a look, get yourself enrolled and hopefully I'll see you in the course.